Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody is having a great Tuesday. Well, today is floss tube day. It's my 67th floss tube. Today is April 6th, 2021, and it's about 10 o'clock in the morning. So how is everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a great week, enjoying some nice weather, you know, somewhere, I hope. Yeah, I'm still wearing my heavy sweaters. It was kind of chilly today. It's like 20 degrees cooler today than it was over the weekend, shall we say. Well, we have a lot, but I brought coffee, so that'll help, huh? Right? Coffee, 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 coffee. I was looking to see what that, that was. I have no idea. Not a clue. Yeah, we're, we're in our little corner here. It was a piece of work trying to get just this. Because, yeah, surrounding me is a little bit of a nightmare. I know it looks all organized. I should just keep my mouth shut, right? Well, we worked on a few things this week. According to my calculations, we had four starts. I had three orders come in, and I had a finish. What can I say? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and I worked on just a few things. Just a few things, guys. I, it just seemed, it was kind of a flitty week in a way, you know, it just felt like I just kept flitting from one thing to the next. Let's see here. With no particular order and, and no, no, nothing else what we started. We started Farm Scene, which is by Joy Sunday. Well, it does say Relaxing Time Cross Stitch, but at the bottom it does say Joy Sunday. So, I'm just counting it as a Joy Sunday. I just love this picture. It is so gorgeous. Just so gorgeous. And it is a 14 count. I had to look. So we didn't get too much done. We worked over here. And it's not too too big. It's just like a little one. So I hope the detail shows up. We'll see. But we worked here in this little corner right here on this little house. And that's all we worked on. Because, yeah, Laura was often running onto other other things. Oh heck, we're not going to mess with that. Not happening. And we started the goldfish. Has lots of pretty colors. For as small as it is, this is a whole lot of colors. But it has a lot of background thread. That's a lot of thread. For one little tiny goldfish, it's not that big. And it is an 11 count. I think it's longer than it is anything else. Where's that good picture? I'll try to get this as close as I can. Maybe. But yeah. See, it's long and skinny. You wouldn't think all that thread's going to go on to that, but I guess it is. But it's long and pretty, and we just started down here at the bottom. Whoop. We got some excess thread hanging fire, but just started the bottom of the dark color coming up, and then this will be whites and grays and probably light blues. Just beautiful. And I noticed on the canvas, I haven't seen this ever but there not that you can see it real well okay let's not get carried away but there's a picture right there yeah of the thing and it has a nice clear key nice clear symbols yeah and there are like I said there's a lot of colors they have 36 yeah but it has a nice key 
So, you know, in considering that I thought it was kind of a cheap kit because it just came in this, um, well, this isn't the bag, I don't believe, that it came in, but there was just a, a clear plastic bag with nothing, but it has lots of colors, threads are great, I can't complain, so, and I left the threads out for the other one, hang on, okay, so that was the only pre-stamp that we started, then I got the material for um, the Jan Hicks 2 that I went and downloaded off of her, I'll call it her website because I'm, I'm not sure if it's an Etsy shop or just, you know, just a website. I had to have a drink. And Molly, she's parking herself over here in my, in my robe that I left behind. Yeah, you get up and you think it's really chilly and then you get it on and that robe is so hot. It's good for cold weather, but holy cow. I'm trying to find the other picture, if I could, please. So I downloaded two Dan, Jan Hicks um, patterns. Hang on, we're so organized today. There it is, and you really can't see it. One is the Earth Laughs and Flowers. And the other one is Narnia. I'm liking Narnia. I really am. So, I bought blue th fabric for Narnia. I mean, for the world laughs and flowers. And it is 14 count vintage blue whisper. And I believe it's from Zweigart. And I crunched this material so that it wouldn't be so stiff. So it, I finally got it in a thing. But this is all I've gotten started on it. So I think the colors are going to show up. So far, so good. But like I said, didn't get very much further. I don't know. Like I said, flitting, flitting. And I'm using the call for colors. It has ah, either a hair there somewhere. Um, Cosmo Colors or DMC. There is a D DMC conversion. <coughs> and Narnia, I am doing on 16 count opal that I was using for um, Ann Thomas. I think it's 18, 1873 or 1857. I'm not real sure drink. But this is all I've gotten done on it, and it's coming out really nice. It only calls for two colors, and I'm using the call for. But this is a nice, that's a good representation of the color right there. Nice fabric. It's kind of a rosy or terracotta color with like a tan modeling. You can kind of see the modeling, but the modeling is more subdued. So, I'm liking it. So, does that cover everything we started? Yep, we started all those last week. So, only four instead of 15 last week, or the week before. Then to what I worked on. I worked on a few things. I worked on Spring Lace by Whispered by the Wind. I love this. Just absolutely love it. It is so beautiful. And when I went to order it, I got it from 123 Stitch. Um, it listed the fabric and the thread, and I ordered both. It was 28 count Lugana Sprite. And the thread is Hydrangea by Threadworks. But it's a beautiful, variegated, beautiful, beautiful, variegated thread. And it was just a small piece, because that's what it called for. It's on a Zweigart base, because you can tell by the orange line. So I have to get it 
where it needs to be. Hang on, guys. All right, I am back. That was my daughter calling. She locked her keys in her car. <sighs> Sorry, guys. We're going to get through this. We have a ways to go. All right. So I was talking about spring lace from 123Stitch. I got it. It's called by uh, Whispered by the Wind. It's really a pretty, what do you call it, variegated pattern. It's not too bad, except it did come... You know, when I ordered it, I went through all that part. Um, this is 28 Lugana. Yeah. So this is all. Make sure I get it right. This is all I've got done. So I've got one half of another scallop done. So it's going kind of slow. I have a problem sometimes with variegated thread. And somebody said something the other day, and I don't remember who it was or whose video I was watching. But they were talking about variegated thread. And I didn't even think about it. Um, I just stitch. I just cut off a link, or this is in links. So I take one link and I pull one thread and then I fold it in half. So they would say that it would look like, let's call it like that. But if you took one strand, cut it in half, you know, you would have this section, this section, and this section. You know, it, it would be different. I didn't start that like this, as you can see. So, I'm just going along and doing it the first way. All right, I am back. And the next thing that I worked on was Quaker Sampling 3. I have to look and see. I think it's with my needle. I always get it wrong. With my needle. Quaker Sampling 3. Yeah. I thought it was pretty. Yeah. So we're about halfway done with that. Almost. I'm using 221 and 14 count Country French Latte. Take it out of the hoop. But all we worked on this week was the little acorn. But as you can see, I'm about halfway across. This is the dividing line. So right straight down. Still have to come across with all the lettering. But yeah. And it it goes alright. You know, it's just something easy and simple to work on. It's single color, has a nice pattern to it. Oh dear. Let's see here. Then I worked on this is by Modern Folk Embroidery and it's called Two Birds in One Tree. Whoops. It's so cute. And I am using oh dear I don't have it right here. But I'm using uh, Blendable Sulky on it, and this is on 28 count um, 28 count Lugana or Even Weave. I got a couple uh, packages of Lugana. One was Lugana, and one is actually said Even Weave. So, yeah. But as you can see, now this one I am doing with just a single strand. So it's showing blocks of color. So I just kept going like that. It is so pretty. So pretty. I opened up the, the door a bit. But yeah, it's coming along really well. So I'm, I'm getting there. I don't think I've got, I'm just coming across the bottom here, as you can see. So we're, we got the side, and then I'm just doing that band right, comes across there. And then I'll start on those other things, and then I'll get to the bird. So I don't know if I'm going to uh, 
do it all like that in that multicolor, which might be kind of fun and festive-ish, you know, and bright. Or make the birds, because I have some blendable blue and I have all my other new colors. I don't know. I don't know that I'll change it. I'll probably just keep using the same thread. Yep. So, it's getting there. I like that one. And I don't think I worked on the other one, which is... Crap. Everything's going in. The Little Bird Quaker Sampler that I got from Modern Folk Embroidery. Yeah, I got two. Got to get two. I mean, please. Even if it is a PDF. But, yeah, I'll show you it since I got this out. Hang on, we're about to lose our needles. This is just done on a 28 count country country French latte by Witchlid. Yeah, and it's coming out really nice. That's actually the top. So we're just working down the side and working across on the first page. So no biggie. No biggie. I just got everything falling. But the patterns are really nice, and since they're done in single colors, it's real easy to read, you know. And then I worked on, see if I can get a hold of it, Where Flowers Bloom by Nicole the Parkman, Ants Across the Sea. And I started in this corner, so I'm trying to get the borderish done. I don't. I guess I'll just work up on the border. And it's got a few colors to it. Maybe 10, 12 colors. But I'm using the call for. And this is on a 28 count Monaco. Lugana. And that's all I've gotten done on it. So it goes kind of slow. My, my 28 counters, I'm not... I can't stitch as fast. Does that make sense? Yeah, but it's turning out really nice. Just love this material. And I got a great big huge piece, but this is not a huge piece. I don't know. Oh, crap. Let's see if it says, no. Hang in there, guys. On which would be 14 so you could use 14 or 28 count no that's my stupid oh, hang on here we go oh, so on 28 count is the same as 14 count Ada so you can use either one it's listed right there on the pattern and it'll be 15, 15.93 by 17.93. So it's not, not too huge. And I'm better off with 28 count because it's so much easier for me to read it. Then I worked on last night The Birds and the Bees by Ink Circles trying not to get a glare. It's really pretty, but it's just kind of lost in that, that crazy fabric. So, yeah. I'm doing it on uh, 28 Count Relic Lugana by Zweigart. Oops. And I've just got a little bit, and this is kind of a yellowy, it's like a goldy tan, if you will. This is all I've gotten done. Because it loops and it, you know, it's, it's an ink circles. Don't know what to tell you, but yeah. Let's start with the hard part, you know, goodness. But that Celtic type border, as you can see, is at the bottom and the top. And there's a little bit of correct in between, and you just got to figure it out. 
So it's going really slow. But hey, I, I pick it up and work on it every so often. All right, got to get my bucket over here because I'm getting stuck on stuff. Then we worked on the Phoenix. This is one from Everyday E-Crafts. Whoop. It is so beautiful. Look at all those colors. Oh my goodness. Just love it. Lots of bright and vivid colors. And we got threads everywhere. So we're just working. Crap. Hang on. Trying to finish this wing. So we started on the the background. Don't mind my thread. It's just there. So I know what I'm doing next time. But I'm almost done with that wing. So we'll have that much done. And then it comes around and I'm starting on the, the background a little bit. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's huge. Well, let's see. I think it's 60 by 60, as a matter of fact. And I ordered um, some more, or not more, from them. But this was from Do It Yourself, Do It Yourself Crafts, or something to that, Arts. Do It Yourself Art. And uh, there will be eight or nine of those. But they're all pre-stamped. So we'll see what their company's like. So the next thing I worked on is Spring Violets. Finally got the other thread for this. Yeah, I know. That took, what, a month and a half? <coughs> so, and it's on 16 Count Country French Cafe Mocha. And I'm using the Call For Threads. And I haven't gotten much done with it. I guess I just wasn't in the mood the day that I pulled it out. But I went across, and this is the center. <sighs> trying, guys, trying. Get all the threads out of the way so you can actually see what is going on. So I've started, and it's very shaded, as usual. Yeah. So that's all I've gotten done with that. I get wore out from changing colors and trying to figure out where everything has to be, but it's got gorgeous colors, and I love it. I love violets, and I may go out and use the, uh, there's a dark purple, I believe it's 550, don't quote me on that, and use that for, um, like going around the violets. <laughs> to kind of outline them because they're not outlined in the pattern. And I worked on my favorite thing in the whole wide world. It's it's one of the best things I've bought ever. Yeah. Let me get a couple pieces here. This is Hope and Love by Clara and Maud Pickernell, 1881, a Bristol Orphanage sampler, hands across the sea. Yep. I got it confused because last night I was watching, uh, or not watching, I was looking at Modern Folk Embroidery, and there's a couple, yeah, of red samplers, but yeah, love this, just love this, can't say no more about it, just love it, and of course I'm using uh, 221, it's on 16 count country French Cafe Mocha. By Winchlet. So, this I'm going to have to take out of the thing. I just pick it up, do a few letters. Pick it up, do a few letters. You know, put it back down. Because, you know, it is what it is. Okay. So, and this is a huge piece of thread. But, I finished page two. Except for except for um you can see where i started the little half 
half letters or numbers or whatever it is that comes across there. So page one, page two. So see what we can get worked on today or this week. And maybe I can get page three done, but I did go all the way across except for the Z. Yep. So love this thing. Just love it. It's so comforting just to stitch and know that, you know, there's not, of course you have to count, but it's not as in-depth as changing colors every 15 minutes, you know. It just drives me insane. Okay, i got to put the zipper on it. All right. And we worked on... I'm going to do that one last just because. I worked on uh, With the Needle 2, Lila's Studio. Another of my favorite. Love this. So we started in this corner working our way up and across and all it took me longer to get that out than it will to tell you what I did or didn't do this is on 28 count Joblin and it's called and Joblin even weave called China Pearl hang on and we got threads every which way but it's loose. Trying another huge piece of material. But this is a huge thing. Hang on. Just give me a second. I'm just going to put that thread down underneath there. All right. That way you can see. All right. So this is all I've gotten done a bit. It's going quite slow, but I did get half the bird done, but got these letters in. There's two of them, and then there's like maybe four across. So just kind of working that way, because that's page one. But it would, using the call for colors, there's like 90 of them. No, there's not. A good 20, 25, 30 colors in this. But it's just absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Okay. Just worked on a few things this week. The last thing that we worked on is the Cardinals. That is, if I can find its little picture. And that's the prettiest little picture you ever saw. It'd make a great card. Sorry, got to turn it a little bit. But it's kind of a plastic, plastic picture, if you will. It's not a sticker. I thought it was a sticker, but you could sure frame that if you wanted to. Gorgeous. <sighs> so we worked on the red on the cardinal coming down. Didn't work anymore on anything else. Just, just wanted to get some red in there. Next time we might do another side, but I love this. Just love it. And it's not too big. It's kind of a small thing compared to what I really do, you know. But, yeah. Just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. So, it'll be great when it's done. And that brings me, which I almost forgot that, I'm telling you, my brain is so not there. I got a giveaway. I got a giveaway. Yeah. So, last week, I had everybody put Cardinal for this kit. Nice. And it's so easy to read. I just can't get over it. Now, you might want to take it someplace and, what do you call it? Um, like, blow it up. Because it is, the one that's included is really, really tiny. But, this is the, the pattern. And it's really pretty. I'm trying to think. It's an 11 count. I was looking to see if it said anything. I had to get it far enough away. So, everybody, if you wanted this, put your name in on my last floss tube. And I have all the names of everybody. I think we had over 50 people. 
we, Molly and I, yeah, she got her two cents worth in. So I'm going to pick one name because I only have one cardinal. All right. And the winner of the cardinal pattern is, if I can get it undone, they're so small, is Patty Barkley. Whoop, let me put the lid on it, put it over here. All right, I'll show you Patty Barkley. Whoops. Yep, and I will put that with this. Let's see if I can attempt to get it. Oh, here we go. It's one of those kind of made like a diamond painting, but I want to get her name in there. Or the the drills on a diamond painting. I'll put it in there. As you can see, it's in there. Okay, Patty, I am going to comment on your comment. And then if you can email me all your particulars, that would be great. Now, we need a giveaway for next week, right? So, what are we giving away? What are we giving away? We're going to be giving away. We, Molly, me, Joy Sunday, two birds, number three. I have an extra copy of this, so I will be giving this away. Put in the word lilac in the description below in the comment section. If you would like to be entered into the drawing for the two birds and the lilacs. All right, and that is going to be given away next week and it is a 14 count three let's see 37 by 46 so it's not very big and it is a partial you do not have to stitch the background you just stitch the bird and the trees and the lilacs and stuff it is so gorgeous this is one of the most gorgeous ones I've ever gotten I say that about all of them. I mean, from, from Joy Sunday, I just love the birds and the detail that they, and the, I love lilacs. Lilacs, pansies, peonies. Three favorite flowers of all time. I'm not much of a rose person. You know, they ought to be pretty spectacular roses for me to think, but uh, yeah. So, I think we got everything that, that went on and what I did and what I worked on and the giveaway. So, yeah. I was thinking about doing two at once, but it's too confusing for me. I'm sorry, I have a little pee brain. So, yeah, we're going to just, we're just going to give away the, the lilacs this week. And if, Patty, if you would get in touch with me, that would be really great. I think we've covered about everything. We got our April cup this week. Isn't that pretty? It's just gorgeous. It doesn't say by who, and I don't know if it was a part of a china set or if it was just a coffee cup. But it's kind of small, but I like it. It says spring with all those beautiful flowers. I know the roses don't come to a little bit later, but hey, we are getting there. I think I've got about everything. What? Let's see if I can turn this. Just, just, no, that isn't going to happen. Can you see her? Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I'm going, that won't work either. Okay, never mind. You just got to see my whole room. Don't want to talk about it. She's over there. She is. And she can't get here. Trust me, she cannot get over here. But she's just going to lay down in her little nest. All right, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And please hit the bell. And that way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe. Stay healthy. God bless. We will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Keep stitching.